everybody and welcome to Bourbon Adventures. Today's episode is not a review, I'm doing a blind. So earlier today I poured these four glasses. I have no idea which bottle is in which glass. I've been kind of mixing them up over the last couple of hours. So I have them labeled on the bottom A through D. And then, so I'm gonna do the blind, rank them one through four and then see which one comes out on top. These four are all Rise. Um, then we have a local Michigan one, uh, the big company Sazerac, a New Riff, and a Doc Swinson's. The one from Michigan is from Two James Distillery in Detroit, and that's a Catcher's Rye. So the four that I do have, I have Doc Swinson's Alter Ego, finished in rum casts. 95 proof we have the catcher's rye which is out of detroit michigan from two james distillery that comes in at 98.8 proof uh, the third one is sazerac rye from buffalo trace and sazerac um, that comes in at 90 proof and the last one is a new riff sour mash rye single barrel and that comes actually in at 105.7, so that's a little bit higher. The reason I chose these four is one, these are the, <laughs> I own these bottles, but the second is the proofs are fairly similar. They range from 90 to 105. So with that being said, I do not know which one is which bottle in here. We'll even mix them up a little bit more. All right, so there we go. They are labeled. I labeled each bottle on the bottom, A, B, C, and D. So we'll start with, we'll go from left to my left to right. And I am, I got a little paper so I can jot down some notes and stuff. It doesn't smell super strong. Maybe a little vanilla. Maybe a little bit of, uh, hey, what is that? I think it's more vanilla than anything. Definitely taste the vanilla on the on the palate. Yeah, a little bit of caramel. Still learning on the nose. I don't pick up too many too many flavors and stuff on the nose as much as I do the the palate. And even the palate, I'm still not good at. I'm still kind of learning that one. Not bad. It's not real strong. All right, we'll go with the second one here. This one looks a little bit lighter. And also, the Sazerac is the only one up here that I have never had. I, and it's been a while since I've had the other three. That's kind of another reason I wanted to. Ooh. That's def different. This one's got like a musty basement smell. But not in a bad way. Like it's... I'm not picking up too much like fruit or even the caramel. I'm not picking up a whole lot of that. Like uh, buttercream, like it's uh, 
like almost like baking spices. It's mellow. It's um yeah. It's not not real strong. Maybe a touch. I don't know, almost get like a some type of fruit. I say maybe maybe like a pear maybe yeah they definitely get that basement damp. Maybe a touch of vanilla. Not a whole lot of vanilla on that one. I mean, it's not. It's not bad. I think this. I like the first one maybe a little bit more than the second one right now. All right, let's go for number three. Let's see what this one's got. These all do range in price. Uh, the Sazerac is probably the cheapest at around twenty-eight dollars. And then the Doc Swinson's New Riff are both, I think, between 60 and 70. And then the Catcher's Rye is between 50 and 55. Ooh, that one's definitely got fruit on it. I got a big whiff of fruit. I don't know what fruit, but almost, it's like a dark fruit, though. Almost like a raisin. Maybe a date. Not much on the palate. It's kind of, it's a little weak actually. I think the nose is a lot better than the, the taste. And it's got a really sweet smell to it. Which normally I would say that's probably a Buffalo Trace, the Sazerac one, but with me never having Sazerac, I don't know if that's still the same profile. I almost want to guess this is Sazerac, even though I've never had it. It's got like a citrusy smell. Yeah, it's just really light. Um, goes down nice it's just it's lighter than the these two all right the last one let's see this one seems to be a little bit darker in color these two are light that's more of an amber and then this one's a little bit darker I'm getting on this one it's kind of ethanol -y. not getting a whole lot let me cleanse my palate before I take a drink of this one what do we got here it's got a little ethanol I think it, it, it smells young, which I don't think any of these, uh, the only thing I could find, um, I don't know if any of them actually had, I think the new riff it just says it's aged at least four years because that is bottled and bond, but I don't, and then there was another one, da, 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 where'd it go? One of them said it was like a two year, I must not have wrote that one down. That might be the catcher's rye. That's the two year. Yeah, I'm just not getting a whole lot of 
nose on this one. I can't pick nothing up. A little citrus. Vanilla. I think you get vanilla on all four. Maybe a little bit stronger on a couple of the other ones. This first one, you can definitely smell the vanilla. Yeah, this one is just kind of fruity. Vanilla, maybe, maybe a little brown sugar. It's not, nothing, none of these have actually blown me away. Like, oh, this is so good. Cause typically, I, I usually like the rise. I typically like the, the higher proof rise. Uh, the, I did a video on the old pepper um, single barrel that I had and that's all over 120 proof. And I really like that one. If you ever, if you want to go check that video out, it is in the, um, on the channel. We did that a couple weeks ago. All right, so right now, man, I don't know what to give this one, score-wise. Nothing's jumping out. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Try going, go through them one more time, see if maybe something changes. So this is the first one again. Yeah, definitely get the vanilla. Maybe a little bit caramel. Maybe almost, almost like a caramel apple. Like a caramel. Uh, green apple with caramel on it. See, this is, I think, I think this one has the best nose. And I think it's, that's, I hate to use the word smooth, but that thing is, that one is very smooth. Man, that's good. Okay, let's try the second one again. I'll go through these. I'll go through these fairly quick. Yeah, get that basement. I don't know what that is. It's almost like a. It is a. I don't know it just for every time I smell it it just basement pops in my head like a old like dark basement that this is used mostly for storage taste okay I'm taking drinks, but all right, let's try it number three here again. Definitely get that fruity. I mean, it's not a lot of fruit, it's very, very, very uh, light. Kind of get a little bit of oak on that one very light oak a 
I do want to say though, this one would be, uh, it does go down very nice. It doesn't have a lot of complex flavors, but it's, it's good. Yeah, the second time through. Tastes a little bit better. I have to admit that, yeah, the first time I had that, it wasn't, I wrote down actually weak. <laughs> and it's not strong by any means, but it tasted a lot better the second time through. Need a little bit of oak on this one too. Very light on the on the palate. I don't think it's as light as this one. It might have a touch more flavor than the third one. I'll go back to the second one. Man, I just that basement is just it's just so strong. All right, so I think it's between. Uh, I think my last place, I think I have that, and that's gonna be this one. I just, it's, that basement smell, it's not a bad, bad smell, but compared to the other three, it has to be last. So that's my fourth place. Oh, that one almost has like a herbal, flowery smell on that one. I keep these in order. Yeah, these two are very similar. I think third place will be this one. Just, it it's tastes fine, it goes down fine. It's just, it's a little not as complex as this one. And I think this will be my third. And then this one is definitely my first. This one has more, the most flavor. It definitely hits my palate the best. Yeah, that vanilla. So that's definitely first. All right. So now it's time to figure out four down. So in fourth place was this one. And that was B, and that is the catcher's rye. Let's go put that there. So catcher's rye is out of Detroit, Michigan. Um, it's a straight rye whiskey, 98.8 proof. Uh, this does use 100% Michigan rye, and it's also uh, uses Great Lakes water. So. I don't know if that's what gives it the the basement me basement me smell, but that is my fourth place is the catcher's rye. So I'll put that glass there. Third place is A, which is the Doc Swinson's Alter Ego. Uh, this is finished in rum cast. I actually thought, before we started this, I thought this one was actually going to win. So this one is Doc Swinson's Alter Ego Solera Method. This is, uh, this bottle is actually from 2021, comes at 95 proof. And it is, uh, where is that? That's about $65, $70 I think I paid for that one. So there's that one. Second place is D. Wow, I did not see this one coming. This is the new riff, single barrel. So it can vary, begin a single barrel. This is a sour mash from new riff. 
coming in at 105.7 proof. I really thought this one would win just because of the proof. I usually like the higher proofs. A little bit of a little bite, but it's not, not as strong as I thought it would be. So that means first place, first time having it, Sazerac Rye from Buffalo Trace. Now this is a single barrel, so I don't know if this tastes, how much different this tastes than from the normal release and stuff. But this one is, it's very good. This is a very caramel, citrus. Yeah, this is good, yeah. Now I do my scoring one through five on each one is how I've kind of been doing it. This only scored a three. So it just kind of tell, shows you what the other ones actually score. I wasn't, they're good. Now I don't know of any of these bottles if I will ever replace them once they're gone. Like I've had a lot of the Doc Swinsons. I've had a lot of the New Riff. I like the taste of them. I can, you know, they're good sippers at night, whatever, but this is my first blind that I've done on the channel and I really like doing this, so I'll probably do more. Um, so, but Sazerac Rye, store pick wins the battle of the rye blinds for Bourbon Adventures today. So I hope you all had fun. I hope you guys all like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit, hit the notification button so when, we, when I put out new videos, you'll be notified that there's new videos. Um, I'm hoping you like the new, the set, I guess you wanna call it. Uh, the first couple videos, I didn't have the bar. I didn't have the, I had to replace my shelves and stuff. So I was just sitting down and trying to get the channel going so we did it I did a couple of reviews but now that I have the bar I have the shelves got the lights <laughs> kind of got everything going that um, make the videos a little maybe a little more interesting and if there's any bottles any topics anything that you would like to see blinded uh, reviewed leave a comment below and I hope to do videos on them I don't have the biggest collection right now, but if I can find it in the store and I go out and get it, and I'll do a review on it. Um, so, I guess we'll raise our glass with Sazerac Rye since that was the winner today. It's not about the whiskey, it's about the memories shared and the flavors embraced. Until our glasses meet again, cheers to the next pour. Thank you. That is a good bottle. See you on the next video.